Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, you don't have to be stick thin anymore to have a successful, successful modeling career. Women of all sizes are sought after for major ad campaigns. So here to tell us what we need to know to make it as a plus size model are the founders of the e -Zine Scorch. Please welcome Jessica Kane and Carrie Wooler. Hi, ladies. Hi. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Yeah. Let's first find out what it, what does it, what's, first of all, what's the size for a plus size model? What size do you need to be? The sizes at plus size modeling actually starts at two digits, so a size 10. A size plus. 10 would size be 10. a plus size model. Yeah. 10 to which 20, is, yeah. Which is really not that big. It isn't. <laughs> it's actually pretty average, but... It's plus modeling is not about the average lady, it's about the plus model. So it's going to be thinner than the average woman. It is. Okay, so okay. If, if someone's thinking about this is where they want to go, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about maybe some good and bad poses when yeah. it comes to your pictures and all of that? I mean, it's really key to build your portfolio so you have good things to represent in the agency. Okay. You want to make sure that you work with photographers that, and makeup artists, stylists that are all working together to get you to the same place, which is mm -hmm. typically in print and to get those ad campaigns, like different okay. areas. And so it's like important you brought to build a that network. You it brought really a model is. with you, so let's, yeah. let's showcase the good and bad poses that you think. <laughs> this is Sarah. This is Sarah. We have um, when you are first, or first going in somewhere and you're taking your photographs to build your portfolio, we're going to show the typical bad poses <laughs> that people do. When they come in, they, um, if an unexperienced model will do a claw hand, Sarah? Sarah, like, put you into the bad pose. Let's get your, they'll come in <laughs> and they'll oh, oh, yeah. Am yeah. I gorgeous with the Marilyn Monroe look? Do not look? do this. <laughs> It is, you know, it's funny, you but know, it's, here's a lot of people James try it. does that every morning in the <laughs> mirror. <Yeah. laughs> but I'm sure he thinks he looks awesome that way. You really want to be flattering. A plus size woman, you want to flatter those shapes. And ob absolutely, this is not the most flattering pose. Oh, the other thing that they do is they show us another pose that they do. <laughs> they do. They do with the claw hands there and the legs kind of spread. Yeah, and your chin's all tucked in, so it's not very That's, attractive. And how models should really look. Let's see a good pose. Great posture, your oh, head nice. is up. That's right. That makes, it, that, that makes it a big difference right there, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, I, now I want to buy that dress. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of which, that's by Move, by the way. Which move is Sustainables. A, they're actually sponsoring our nationwide model hunt. Oh, is that right? Yep. Okay, awesome. so that, this is another good model move. What, what other moves do we have that are, that are more positive for a model? <laughs> The biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your posture is great. Mm -hmm. Your head is up. You want to pretend like you have an orange underneath your, yeah. your chin. Let's see the bad neck versus good. See, bad that's neck. very typical. So you it's, wanna, just, it's the standard modeling. It really is not different for plus size, but you have to be more aware, aware of, of your it. body, aware of your curves. She has great hips. She wants to show the hips, so we don't want to hide them. It's just, you know, being, you know, proportioned, right? Mm -hmm. So, Jessica, let me ask you, mm -hmm. you um, mentioned, let's talk about the walk. Okay, yeah. We do, like, <laughs> Sarah can show us the bad walk. And how many steps, I'm not sure we can go, but it's typical for plus-size women. You have to be, you walk right for your shape as any other model. So show us, like, this is not very attractive. <laughs> yeah. All the time. Yeah. That looks like okay. you're, you're walking in for an IRS audit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're not accentuating your shape. She has wonderful hips. She's a beautiful plus-size woman. She should show off her shape. So instead, Sarah, she can show us what a real model, you know, to really That's accentuate right. your shape. That looks like you just yeah. won the audit. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it really is about uh, uh, confidence and, and don't, don't think like a model. Don't think you have to be pouty and, and you know, bad stereotypes, but be confident and... and Great posture. Yeah. Be confident very comfortable with yourself. Let's talk about the scams to avoid because there are scams out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you have to do your research. You have to do the research on a photographer, the stylist, look into the Better Business Bureau. Mm -hmm. It's a business and there are people who are going to take advantage. And, and uh, if you want a model, you have to find an agency, right? That's, that's no, important. No, typically you don't start out with an agency. Really? The the most important thing yeah. is really to build your portfolio and look into photographers and makeup artists, stylists that make you look great. The photographer mm -hmm. is also going to be working in the same areas and you're going to work together to get on with an agency. Yeah. But to get on to an agency, your portfolio has to be. So you need the portfolio, the portfolio and those, those things first exactly. and then and then to and find then an agent to find network. the work, right? You've got a network, network on like Model Mayhem and Muse Cube. It's really about the network internet, you know, Can digital. you actually make a living being a plus sign? model absolutely yeah 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 um, you it's harder it's not as easy as a straight size but there's plenty of money but there, there's more and more fashion for yeah. plus size we're oh. seeing that more and more and, I mean our magazine we're scorchmagazine.com and we contract models to do fashion well, let's, spreads let's take a look at this picture here 
Yeah, that's Diana. From America's Next Top Model right there. She came out um, the other month to do Rock the Runways with us. Yeah. We did a fashion spread. So more and more of these models are needed for that type of work. Take mm -hmm. us qu quickly, if you would, just through the, the, the average day, work day, of a plus-size model when they're, they're on a shoot. Are they doing a lot of outfits, one outfit? Yeah. What's it like? Yeah. It depends on what the job is. Um, for a fashion editorial for a magazine, yeah, you typically do several different shots, several different outfits. And it's hard work. It's it not is, easy. No, it, it takes a lot of exercise to do it. You have to be able to be in shape. Um, a lot of people mm -hmm. think that if you're a plus size model that you're not working out, you have to work out all the time. These women are very much in shape and they love yoga and Pilates. And, yeah, and they're yeah. very flexible, yeah. like dancers. All right, Model Hunt, tell us about that. Mm -hmm. We have a nationwide Model Hunt coming up. Move Sustainables, the one who supplied Sarah's dress, is looking for their new face for the line. They're debuting this December, so they partnered with us to launch a Model Hunt. Uh -huh. We will have a location here in Portland as well as LA and, and New York. Okay. And we'll be, uh, October 7th, we'll be here so in Portland. Sh so Portland. when you come there, you should have a portfolio with you? and You do not. You, we can have unseasoned models. We're really looking for the diamond in the rough mm -hmm. as well okay. as a seasoned model. Yeah. So um, you want to show up at these locations in New York that we have. We have uh, three locations, New York, Portland, and L.A. Mm -hmm. And if you go to scorchmagazine.com and click on events, yeah. you can find out more information. And what we'll do, we'll put all that information on our website, too, make it really easy for people to find katu.com. Ladies, nice to see okay. you again. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Thanks, good to see you.